Good morning, everyone. I'm Miss Sydney with Sycamore Public Library, and thanks for joining me for Little Wiggles today. Little Wiggles is our story time that's specially made for babies and toddlers ages birth to two. My friend George and I are here to bring you a special flower story time today. I bet when you look outside your window, you can see flowers growing in your neighborhood. Let's start by singing our welcome song together. So grown-ups, you can get your little friend sitting next to you or sitting on your lap to sing the Well, Hello, Everyone song. It goes like this. Well, hello, everybody. Can you touch your nose? Touch your nose. Touch your nose. Well, hello, everybody. Can you touch your nose? Touch your nose nose. Great job. Grown-ups, you can see I touched George's nose and mine. If your friend is really small, you could help them out with that at home. Now let's find our ears. Where are your ears? Good. Well, hello, everybody. Can you touch your ears? Touch your ears. Touch your ears. Well, hello, everybody. Can you touch your ears? Touch your ears. Last one, where are your toes? Oh, there they are, here's George's toes. Well, hello everybody, can you touch your toes? Touch your toes, touch your toes. Well, hello everybody, can you touch your toes? Touch your toes. Wonderful job, friends. Since we are such good singers, let's sing another song. This one is about flowers. And you can keep your baby or toddler right on your lap because this is a great bouncing song that you can do together. So it goes to the tune of Pop Goes the Weasel. The words are really easy to learn. And when we say, Pop, I'm a flower, you can pop, bounce your little friend right up in the air. That's what I'm gonna do with George. Are you ready, friends? I'm a seed that's in the dirt. I like sunshine and water. I grow a stem, then two leaves pop. I'm a flower. Great job, should we do it again? Thumbs up. Sing it with me if you know the words, ready? I'm a seed that's in the dirt. I like sunshine and water. First a stem, then two leaves, pop, I'm a flower. Wonderful job, little flowers. You did great work popping. George is gonna sit down on my lap while we read our story today. I see flowers on the front of our book. This book is by April Pulley Sayer and it's called Bloom Boom. And you are going to hear the words bloom, boom, a lot of times when we read. So at home, if you want to say it with us, you can say bloom, boom, anytime you hear it. Are you ready? So let's read April Pulley Sayers' book, Bloom, Boom. Seeds sprout, stems pop out. Boom. In this story, you can see lots of pictures of real flowers. What color flowers do you see here, friends? Some purple flowers and some yellow flowers. Very good. Leaves emerge, stalks surge. Balloon boom. Use those eagle eyes. What do you see hiding inside the plants? Yeah, it's a little bunny rabbit. He might be looking for a snack in the flowers. Plants rise, shapes surprise. Say it with me. Bloom, boom. Bulbs send tips. Extend, ready, bloom, boom. Check out those beautiful flowers, friends. I see red and I see 
yellow. Buds grow, blossoms show. Ready? Bloom, boom! I see pink flowers on this page. Petals curve, insect swerve. This is a bumblebee. Can you make the sound a bumblebee makes? Bzzz. Good job. Bloom. Boom. Colors call, fragrance flies. Can you smell those flowers? Point to your nose and pretend. Ooh, can you smell the beautiful flowers? Welcome birds and butterflies. Here is a bird in the tree. Tweet, tweet, tweet. And here's a butterfly visiting the flowers. There's lots of things by these flowers in nature. Sun rays warm, flowers form. Last time, friends, bloom. Boom! There are all the beautiful flowers. My friends, have you seen any flowers in your neighborhood, maybe in your yard or at the park? Flowers are growing all around our neighborhood. And Miss Sydney brought some flowers to story time today. And I am hoping that you can be my big helper to help me count all the flowers. Will you help count them with me? Let's count them like a song. Are you ready? It goes like this. One little, two little, three little flowers. Four little, five little, six little flowers. Seven little, eight little, nine little flowers. Ten little flowers are blooming. Remember in Bloom Boom, when the flowers opened up to show their pretty colors? Our flowers are blooming too. Let's sing the song again, but this time we'll use our fingers to count our 10 little flowers. See if you can do it with me or grown up. See if you can model for your little one how you count on your fingers. Ready? One little, two little, three little flowers. Four little, five little, six little flowers. Seven little, eight Little nine little flowers, 10 little flowers are blooming. Wonderful job. You know what though? The flowers are feeling sleepy. Show me what you look like when you're feeling sleepy. Yeah, so it's time for the flowers to go to bed. Now we have to count down from our 10 flowers. Do you think you can help me? Oh, that's wonderful. Let's start over here with our white flower. And we're gonna start at 10. 10 little, nine little, eight little flowers. Seven little, six little, five little flowers. Four little, three little, Two little flowers. One little flower is sleepy. Oh, friends, how many flowers do we have left? No more flowers. Wonderful job counting with me. The next part of our story time, we are going to use our little wiggle scarf. So if you need a minute to pause the video and go find the scarf that came in your starter kit, you could do that. If you don't have the scarf easy to grab, you could always use something like a washcloth, a burp cloth, even like a sock. Something that's easy to throw in the air if you've got it available. And we are going to learn a little rhyme about flowers, who would have guessed? So once you've got that special scarf, I want you to try your very best to squish it up teeny tiny in your hands like this. 
And grown-ups, if you have a friend with extra little hands, an infant at home, you can kind of go hand over their hand to help squish it up as tiny as you can. And this is going to become our flower. It's kind of magical. I'll show you how we'll do it. So when it's tight in your hands, we're going to say our rhyme like this. Here is a leaf and here is a leaf. And that, you see, makes two. And this is the bud for our flower. Watch it bloom for you. What happened when we opened our hands? Our scarf bloomed just like a flower. Should we do it again? That was pretty magical, wasn't it? Let's take that scarf, squish it, squish it, as tiny as you can, pretend it's that little seed in the ground. You are doing a great job. Okay, is your scarf nice and hidden in your hands? Let's say our rhyme, ready? Here is a leaf and here is a leaf and that you see makes two. Now here is the bud for a flower. Watch it. Excellent job, my friends. Since we have our scarves in our hand, let's wave them up in the air as high as we can. Shake them, shake them, shake them. Great job. And now you can wave them down low by your toes. Good job. Can you make yourself disappear? Fantastic grown-ups while our little friends play with their dancing scarves. I want to give you an idea of an activity that you can do at home to help extend story time a little bit and keep talking about flowers that you see in the neighborhood. So a really simple easy craft that I love to do at home with my own kids is make binoculars. And all that you need for binoculars is two paper towel tubes um, or toilet paper tubes. It is really easy to connect them. You could stick a stapler in there. You could use a piece of tape all around. If you wanted to let your infant or your toddler color on them with crayons or paint, they could make them very special and their own. But then they have their very own pair of binoculars to go out and search for flowers. Some really easy flowers for babies and toddlers to interact with are dandelions because they are safe to pick and they're mostly safe if an accidental one gets in their mouth. Um, daisies, marigolds are another pretty safe flower choice. Of course, we always want there to be adult supervision if their little ones are playing with anything, but feel free to make some binoculars and go on a hunt for some bloom booms in our neighborhood. We saw purple flowers, yellow flowers, red and orange. I wonder what color flowers you will see in our neighborhood. Oh friends, I am so glad that you came to story time today. Let's say goodbye with George and our special tickle the clouds rhyme. So get up close with your grown up little friends. We are going to say goodbye until next time. Our goodbye song goes like this. Tickle the clouds, tickle your toes, wiggle around and tickle your nose. Reach down low, stretch up high. Story time's over, so wave goodbye. Goodbye, little Wiggles friends. Thanks for joining Miss Sydney and Sycamore Library. We will see you next time on Little Wiggles.